Hi. <sighs> so, uh, it's been a minute since I posted an update. Although I've been posting a pretty good amount of updates on um, TikTok, and then I will upload them to YouTube. So you guys are kind of getting um, an update. And the reason I'm doing that is for the algorithm. So it'll help like push my YouTube channel. Because I really want my YouTube channel to do well. So that is the reasoning in that. Now on to this. This window doesn't work. I've got tape over it because it rained the other night. And I didn't want it to rain in the seat and I have to drive to work like that. So now you're wondering why I'm driving this to work instead of the Mustang behind me. Well, that would be because the shift linkage is broke on the Mustang. I fixed it today. So it must have been broke for a while because the clutch sits higher and it lets out farther. So it lets out at the top instead of the bottom. And what I've noticed is when I was in drive throughs the clutch would hiss. So like you put it in, put it in gear, it'd be like Sss. And it only does that now when you or when the car, when the clutch is grabbing and the car is steadily going forward. So that was the reasoning in that. Not trying not to make it seem weird when cars are driving by and my neighbors are outside. A lot of people in Coleman don't understand like why people do these kind of things. So it's very hard to, for them to believe that you actually make money doing this kind of stuff. Them nine to fives. Okay, so now you're probably wondering what the plan is. Why do I have that now? And what the deal is with the Mustang. I don't really have a plan. I wanted to, the Mustang is super cool, so I wanted it. I've also been chasing it for three years. Thank you, John. It's so awkward when people like drive by. I got the Beamer um, for a really good price. I'll be honest with you, I traded in a really expensive airsoft gun for it and some cash obviously uh the beamer i was thinking about welding the diff doing some donuts burnouts and just terrorizing it and just be a play car but as i started driving it because the mustang was broke i started liking it <laughs> no i'm not gonna give up my daily driver i'm gonna keep this car for probably forever until i have to make it a gambler or a rally car of some sort now the beamer is different i don't know what to do with it because now i have two daily driven cars that are daily drivable and they run good that one just has 300,000 miles on it and the doors are messed up so what I thought about doing is either terrorizing the car and making it a toy or fixing it up just putting two doors on it so I found two doors put a set of wheels on it paint it matte black put a set of headlights in it for about 100 bucks new set of tail lights about 80 Tint the windows, put her on her nuts, and just make it a comfortable daily driver. Because it is a BMW. I honestly don't know what I want to do with it. Because I can't just sell it. Because it needs a lot of work. So I wouldn't get, like, in theory, what I paid for it. It was an expensive airsoft gun. <laughs> but I really needed the car. And luckily, I'd gotten it. And then this thing literally broke down like a week later. So I had a backup car. I actually put none of the windows work but the AC works, so that's good. Um, but I put all the door panels back on, and I just realized I've got to fix the windows. <laughs> they look really shitty without the door panels. I didn't like driving it without them. <laughs> I never think things through. I was like, oh, that door panel looks good on there, so let's put the rest. Totally looked like I was just trying to break into this car when they went by. Anyway, what do you guys think I should do? Should I matte black it, slam it on the nuts, new headlights and taillights, tint the windows? Does make her look cool? Oh yeah, and I gotta get two doors. Which I said I found them. I actually really, I actually really enjoy this car. Um, I didn't think I would, but I actually do enjoy it. It's a very comfortable car. For 300,000 miles, it doesn't tick. It does need rotors. So when you hit the brakes, it feels like a Jeep Cherokee. All right, I came in because the <laughs> neighbors were pulling up. They were like getting groceries out and stuff. But yeah, what do you guys think I need to do? Let me know in the comments. And we'll try to figure it out. As you can tell, I've already started uploading a little bit of gaming content where I've been streaming some games on Kick. Now, I've stopped at the moment because my graphics driver, my graphic driver, my video card has taken a dump on me. So I've got to do an RMA, send it in and figure that out. But for now, before I do the RMA, uh, I'm built, I was building a PC for streaming. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna try to stream off it for a little bit. 
find a user graphics card to throw in here so I could keep playing games because it's like a 14 day turnaround. So I'm gonna try that. And also I upload videos from this PC. <laughs> so it needs to work. So I gotta have a graphics card. So that is the situation that I'm in right now. But don't worry, she'll be up and running soon. Also tried to live stream an airsoft event, which would have been awesome if I hadn't ran into some signal issues as I was streaming the kick. It was doing well too. I'm gonna figure out those. I've got a guy that's uh, building me a phone, which is essentially a router. I've got a Raspberry Pi coming. I'm gonna build it. It's like, it comes in a kit. It'll essentially be my computer. And that'll be the way that I will stream uh, IRL streaming. I've been telling you guys, I've been hinting around that I've been wanting an IRL stream for a while now. So I'm going to try it on kick. I love streaming, but I want to take it to the next level. So nobody around here does it, per se. There's a few people that do it, but not like, you know, how I would do it. So I want to at least give it a go and try it. My good buddy Gary has already told me he would be my cameraman. Hopefully you're still up for that. We're going to try and make this work. I think it's going to be great. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.